Well, praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. Shalom, mean in peace, may that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Now, I'm assuming, you know, going forward from this lesson, I'm assuming you know who the serpent is. That's not what the, the lesson is necessarily going to touch on itself, you know, but it will be in a conjunction you know, with some things you may, or you should, you should know going into this. If not, you know, search up GMS Serpent. And really, yeah, it's not a, it's, it is the doctrine. It's about the doctrine. GMS is just really a label. As long as you're teaching the, the doctrine, as in what we're teaching, then yeah, that's what it's about. Don't worry about a title, but if you want to access and find more information, more lessons upon a certain topic, a good thing you can do is put in the speech marks, right? Put in speech marks, open speech mark, GMS, close it. And then it, all it's going to, what that means is it's only going to bring up entries that have GMS in the title. You know, more time if, if you're looking for that doctrine, that is what the channel is going to be called. You know? Anyway, Genesis 3.14, and the Lord God, all right, and Yahweh Alahayim said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And just to cast our minds back, what happened? Yeah, the, the serpent was subtle. In the first verse, it says, More subtle than any beast of the field. Right, meaning, let's go into this word for subtle. Because it was with subtility. That ultimately this judgment came. This word is Irawam. Irawam. Okay, it's a subtle, shrewd, crafty, sly, sensible, crafty, shrewd, sensible, prudent. He's not sensible. Right? He's he's tuned in, his senses are there. He's sensible, he'll use his senses for evil. Right? So really he is sensible. I'll take that back. But when you when you think of sensible now, you think of you know um everything in moderation. If someone's a sensible with with their wine, for example, they're not going to drink too much. You know, they're not going to down a whole bottle, two bottles, and start driving vans around, crashing them into shit. You know, that's not sensible. That's more so reckless. When you think of someone sensible, and you, know, you think of someone that does it in order, he is the antithesis of that. You know, look that word up, antithesis. He is the antithesis. He is the anti. He is the op. He is our op, man. The top op, let's say. So it says, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Let's look at the word for serpent. Right, Nachash, Nachash. Which says, serpent, snake, serpent, image of serpent, fleeing serpent, mythology. And he will be a fleeing serpent. <laughs> you know, he'll be trying to flee, trying to escape out of judgment. And that's not a myth. It really is a myth. Myth means a word of mouth, but it's not a fable. Yeah, it's not fabulous, it's not false. Right, the serpent... Yeah, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which Yahweh Allah Hayyam had made, and he said unto the woman, Yea, hath Allah Hayyam said, ye shall not eat every tree of the garden. Yeah, and basically putting that, that idea in Eve's head, just as now. Just as, oh, but don't you, if you're bringing forth a life, don't you think you have the right to kill it? <laughs> I'm not laughing at that, but I'm laughing at, you can see the parallels, you can see why he's called the serpent. Right, going into this, I think I've read it. Yeah, I've read it. Dust shalt thou eat. That's the that's the title. Where is it? There it is my phone screen still fucked. Yeah, with Christmas and everything, a lot of the heathen stores are shut. And I'm not I'm not adept in this field to be able to do it myself. So unfortunately, yeah, when it slows down lessons, I apologize, man. So it says I par, and this is dealing with dust. It says. Dry earth, dust, powder, ashes, earth, ground, mortar, rubbish. Dry or loose earth, debris, mortar, ore. And this really has a connotation. If I can find what I'm looking for. Dust, basically dust, confusion. Okay? When you, when you hear dust, think of confusion. Let me see. No, I'm looking for a psalm, I believe. I 
And also, when you deal with the word dust, not in this context, when you deal with the word dust, you know, man was created from dust. <laughs> so take that. For example, you know, Ecclesiastes 3 and 20, all good unto one place, all of the dust and all turn to dust again. Yeah, maybe. No, I won't get into that. So where are we? There's one I'm looking for. I've not found it. So maybe... I don't know if there's two Hebrew words for dust. But it doesn't seem to be there. I'm have one more glance. And if not, it's slowing down the lesson. So I'll just, lie. just leave it. Alright, where are we? No, I must have. Okay, okay, okay. This will do. Yeah, Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, a daughter virgin of Babylon. And what does Babylon mean? Yeah, to link this all back. And who's going to be heading Babylon? E, right? The serpent, or the reincarnated serpent, however much you Israelites struggle with that and get bugged out about you know, there being such thing as a reincarnation again in flesh even though Yahweh Shai himself said this is Elijah which was for to come you'll say the spirit and power Ark. yeah this that means that means he was him ridiculous yeah, it's worthy of ridicule Babylon right Babal obviously in here says Babal or Babylon confusion confusion by mixing <laughs> Right, and that's what you have, man. That's what you have. And the whole, uh, the D, how would you call it, man? The D, ne, denationalizing people, right? Taking away their national identity based on you know, their fathers and rather putting it on skin. And then you've got an idea of mixed race. That's confusion, man. How can you, race goes back to Razak, seed. You can't have mixed seed. <laughs> you, <laughs> in fact, no, do you think, Jacob? A mixed seed. Mixed seed. It was a beautiful lesson done by Elder Manat Zachbar, touching on the idea of mixed seed. I think a few, maybe two or three, man. Because Jake just can't get it. it says Babel or Babylon. What all I wanted was that it means confusion, man. So come and sit in the dust. A virgin daughter of Babylon. And who's the daughter of Babylon? Yeah, the daughter of Babylon, because they've learnt the same ways, man. But also, you have the Britain, which is the mother. Not, well, really, it's the mother of Babylon, right? So you've got a matrilineal uh, lineage there for you, Hebrew E. Right? Your mother shall be cut, not you, Salachia, but talking of E of Babylon, your mother shall be so confounded, right? That's talking of Britain. And really, they're going to be part of you know, the nukage, the nukage for the flukage, or at least the, the ten horns, you know, the EU are. Actually, Britain have left the EU with Brexit, and that's prophetic. Yeah, It's also pathetic, <laughs> Yeah, because it's all, it's all going to be for suffering's sake. Pathos, going back to suffering. But anyway, the serpent, now shall eat confusion. Isaiah 47 and 1 is a prime example of that. You're going to sit in the dust. You're not going to be that um, high, high, high exalted Grand Pumba, uh, Grand Pumba, whatever you call it. A nation that you've positioned yourself as. All right, that's going to be cut off shortly. Because you are Ha, or rather Ha Nachash, right? The serpent, which is also Ha Shatan, you know, the adversary. And the devil, man. Right, that is what, that is E's titles. Yeah, he also wants to, he always wants to say, I'm the first this, and the first that. Well, you were the first murderer. Yeah, the first devil. The first serpent. The first cave beast. Yeah, you've got a numerous, you've got a great record, man. You should be proud. Oh, wait. You is. You is proud. 
Let's get this city of confusion. Isaiah 24 and 10 says, The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Right, right now you know where this is New York. Yeah, this is California. This is the thing that borders it. But it's going to come to a point when, when there's nuclear fire upon it, fire from the chariots, all of these things. You're not going to be able to discern this part from this part. It's just going to be a big city of confusion on fire, man. And that's that's what you call dust. <laughs> and they're going to cast dust upon them head. Right? Dust. Yeah, Revelation. <laughs> that's a funny voice. Revelation 18 and 19. And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, when we were made rich, all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, from one hour is she made desolate. Right, and that is dealing with when she's done. Not, not when there's a little, um, sh I can't even remember what the doctrine was, but it was wrong. It was wrong. Okay. This is a, this is a prophetic chapter Revelation 18, we've dealt with it as a body and numerous times, but it's never a bad thing to go back over it. Yeah, because you're always gonna have people coming in or people that have forgotten. You know, if we might have done a lesson on something and being sharp at the time, and then you do a few lessons, you study some other stuff, you get back into this, you get into this a bit, you know, someone mentions this, and then you if you try to go back over that, you're not gonna be a sharp man. Right, so you have to do it. What did the apostle say? Repetition is the mother of learning. Okay, and it is. Going over it and going over it. That's why in school, even on a secular level, I know I'm getting a bit beside the point, but you have something called revision. Right, so you view it and then you have to revise it. Yeah, that's true, man. But in the kingdom, you know, once this serpent is, <laughs> well, when he's getting his judgment and from that point then on, yeah, we're not going to have to try and remember, oh, brother, what's that precept? I can't remember it. That's not going to happen. Right, the laws are going to be written on our inward parts, man. Ever living, everlasting life. If you're a Jake, whether you got it on this side or the next, we're all going to be good then, man. So don't worry about it. Yeah, dust shall he eat, dust shall you eat. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rukha Kudash. Shalom.